So it's Friday, we got market tomorrow. We get just got done harvesting all our greens for market. And I'm definitely getting a little <laughs> farmer tan going on. <laughs> Ashley's belly's getting pretty big. Yes, it is. 29 weeks. We just wanted to share this really helpful tip with you guys though on getting a restful night's sleep. And it's something that we learned about when Ben was first sick through the medical medium information. So the first ingredient here that we're gonna talk about is melatonin. And this is the melatonin for Vimergy and I take this to get a restful sleep. You know, it'll also help increase your sleep hours. So if you're having trouble falling asleep at night, this is something that will keep you nice and calm and keep you sleeping throughout the night. It's also good for inflammation, reduces inflammation in the brain, and it helps repair burnt out neurotransmitters. Yeah, and our brain gets inflamed from things like heavy metals, rusting, uh, viral um, neurotoxins, which is the waste that comes from viruses, so like when they go to the bathroom, and also from consuming MSGs. Yeah, and we know that the body actually runs off of two things, the mineral salts and the glucose, Yeah, right? That's like food for your brain. Yep. And where do we get these? We get these from fruits, veggies, wild foods, and herbs. So we were just talking about the importance of glucose. Well, there's a good glucose that you should be taking with your melatonin. And that glucose is found in cherries. Yes. Get the cherries. I just bought some more because we were out and he's gonna get more at the market tomorrow. Yeah, when cherries are in season, we try to buy a ton and a ton of cherries. We also do a lot of cherries, um, frozen cherries. Smoothies. In our smoothies oh. when they're not in season. Yeah. But right now they're in season and they are just packed with minerals. And minerals I'm talking about is like zinc and iron, right? And zinc is depleted from all of the soil, so you can't really find zinc in the soil which then the plants uptake that zinc and then we consume the zinc and that's how we get our zinc so um, finding ways to find zinc is an important thing and the the uh, cherries the darker the cherries are so you can see how dark this cherry is so dark. the darker the cherries are the more zinc, the more iron, the more more minerals that are in the cherries. And then if you find one that is like of the lighter color, you know, see that's a lighter color, this is lacking minerals. So the darker it is, the better it is for our bodies. Yeah, so cherries are also really great if you are trying to get pregnant or if you are already pregnant because it helps remove toxins from your uterus and the rest of your reproductive system. They therefore also help prevent fibroids and cysts. So it's a good one to know. Mm -hmm. So another cool thing about cherries is they remove radiation from the body. Yep. This is a huge one. Yeah, Anthony, the medical medium, he has been hinting um, more frequently that you know something big is coming with radiation and that we need to protect ourselves yeah you know like all these towers that are popping up around us that connect to our cellular devices and all of our electronics well those things give off high amounts of radiation and even more radiation now with this new type of technology that's being put up so even more important than ever to start protecting ourselves and cherries, you know, a great way to do that. All right, so this next trick with cherries is why you were watching this video because you probably are wondering what is that ultimate secret to getting a restful night's sleep? Yep. So like we said, when Ben was first sick, we found this information and it helped him greatly 
when he could not fall asleep. Yeah. So there's these um, amino acids in cherries, and these amino acids work with the melatonin. They they work in tandem. So it's like you take your melatonin, you eat the cherries, and it amplifies the strength of the melatonin in your body, right? So now the melatonin and the cherries com combined together is the reason that you're getting such a great night's sleep. All right, so let's, let's show you how it's done. So get a bowl first. So get your bowl, get all your cherries here, grab a, uh, probably like two handfuls of cherries. Okay, we'll get a good amount going. And remember the cherries, they're gonna suppress your appetite. So, you know, this is a good alternative to like dessert at night. If you're like craving sweets, stuff like that, you can just grab them. Grab a bowl of cherries. And if you're craving sweets, it probably means your body's craving glucose, which there you go. That will do it. So then you take uh, what I do is I take three melatonin at night. So I take my melatonin with with some water, and then I eat my cherries. When I was really sick, I was taking four melatonin. So if you're dealing with a lot, really having a hard time getting a good night's sleep, then you know, maybe try four melatonin, you know, with your cherries. And what I noticed with all of this is about 30 minutes to an hour after I consume the cherries with the melatonin, I fall asleep. And I don't wake up, you know, like before when I was really sick, I was getting up nonstop. It was like always around like 2 to 4 a.m. I would wake up. And I never really understood why that was until Anthony came out with his liver book and he explained how the liver functions. And around 2 a.m. is when the liver wakes up. The liver wakes up and starts processing all of the toxins, you know, the, the viral byproduct from the viruses, the rusty metals. It starts processing these toxins and trying to rid them from your body. It's like cleaning house. Yep. It's and what's really important as well is to get to bed by 10 o'clock because between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. is the healing sleep window. And so that's something that we always try to do is to get into bed by 10 so we can get that healing sleep window in. And if you have a nighttime job where you do a night shift, it also works in the daytime. So if you slept from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Yeah. And it's it's 9:52. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get to bed soon. We really <laughs> wanted to get this video in for you guys, yeah. so we decided to let's let's do it. Yeah. And so it's almost 10 o'clock. It's our bedtime. <laughs> so we're gonna end the video there with that. I hope you give cherries and the melatonin a try if you're having sleep problems. I hope it helps you. You know, let us, let us know if it works for you. Drop us some comments. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. All right, see ya. Bye.